All right, so this video is going to be a short one. What I'm doing is I'm going through the steps on how to save this poster from Adobe InDesign into the JPEG format, reduce the size of the poster so that the poster can be put up on to be hands. I had a student earlier contact me regarding this poster being too big to go up on to Behance. So I thought a small video showing a procedure that would help solve that problem might help everybody. So I'm going to quickly go through this. This shouldn't be a very long video. Here we go. So first of all, I got my poster open here, and this poster is 11 by 17 inches, which is a very big file size. That's the problem. The first thing I want to do is I want to go to the file menu and I want to go to export. Let's see here. I want to go to file. Let's see. Uh, uh, export. Yeah. And normally it's set up for export uh, print PDF. That's probably what you'll see when you go in there, export print PDF. Well, whatever you see, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you come down and you choose JPEG. So if you take a look at the export dialog box, the file name should be whatever file name you're currently calling it. I'm calling mine Bill Poster, so we won't worry about that too much. Uh, and my save as type will be JPEG. That's the important thing. I am currently saving this into my DES113 course folder under week four. So just so that you understand what I'm doing here, I'm going to hit save. Uh, and it already is one in there, but I'm showing you the process, so I'm redoing it. It'll tell me it's going to overwrite it. Again, not a problem. So I'm going to hit yes to overwrite it, and now I have my JPEG export dialog box. Just leave it the way it is right now. It is perfectly fine. Um, I have more than one page in there. That's why this is coming up. The, the quality of this is set to medium baseline. The resolution is 72 pixels per inch RGB. All this is good. The problem is that the size is going to be 1117, which is too big. We're going to fix that, okay? So I'm going to hit export, and now I have that JPEG. That's all there is to it. So if I minimize this and go into my DES113 typography week four, I should see in here my poster, which is a JPEG file. And if I double click on it, it'll open. It might take a moment. There it is. There's my poster. That's a JPEG. All right. So now I'm going to go into Photoshop. I've opened up Photoshop. And I'm going to go to the File menu. And I'm going to go to Open. And I'm going to come down to my, I'm going to go to my desktop first. I'm going to go into my Typography folder. I'm going to go into Week 4. And I'm going to find my poster, which is that right there. See, item type, JPEG file. Okay, dimension 792 by 1224. Uh, I'm going to hit OK, or select that and hit open. So now this thing is opened up in there. So what I want to do with this is I want to change the size of this. I want to bring this down to about 800 pixels. According to the student, the problem he was having was that his file was greater than 800 pixels. This was causing the problem. That's why I'm in here doing the video, so I can show everybody how that can be solved. All right, so it's very simple, and it'll only take a moment to do this. This is not a lot of work, very simple. Go up to the Image menu and go down to Image Size right here, and you get the Image Size dialog box, and what you're looking at in here is this area right here. Okay, the biggest problem is that you have a width and a height set of 11 by 17 inches, which is too great. So the first thing that I would do here is I would come to this drop down, and instead of showing this as in inches, I'm going to drop it down, and I'm going to show it as pixels, pixels, okay? So what the problem is, is that the height of this is 1224 pixels, which is greater than what is allowed on Behance. This is what I believe the problem is. So I'm going to make sure, see that little icon right there? If you deselect that, that line goes away, and it is no longer going to reduce proportionately. 
So you want to make sure that that link is indented like that and you see the lines coming off it. That's going to reduce the size of this proportionately. Very important point. I'm going to select the 1224 and I'm going to change it to I'm going to change it to 780. Now when I do that, it automatically sets the width to 550, keeping it in proportion. That's all you have to do. You don't have to save the resolu change the resolution because the resolution was set to 72. If your resolution doesn't come out at 72, all you're going to do is select it and set it to 72, just like I did right there. So your settings should read 550 by 780 at a resolution of 72. When I hit OK, watch what happens. It'll happen very quickly. Watch what happens to my poster on the screen. It, sh it made it look smaller. It, the only reason it did that was to give you some recognition that you made your image smaller. Okay, so now you're just going to come up here and go File, Save, and this is going to come up the JPEG. You don't have to do anything but make sure that this is all the way, this little slider is all the way to the right, and its quality should be 12 maximum, and then hit OK, and you're done. And I'm going to minimize Photoshop. Once again, there's my poster. Bill Poster, that's what I just did, open it up. Doesn't look much different really, but it is in fact different. The size is smaller, and you should now be able to put it into um, Behance with no problem. Thank you for watching.